Hi everybody, I'm doing a recipe on the fly here with things I had in the fridge. I have some brujuta, good stuff here. And I have, let's take you slowly without jerking around my camera. I have some garlic fresh, some organic spinach, some Parmesan cheese from Aldi, some fusilli pasta, some pomodorini, which is my favorite for a fast sauce, and garlic, salt and pepper, and see where we go. I'll come back and show you more. Okay, I sauteed the brujito till crisp. I'm going to get ready to take it out and begin the sauce with some garlic and the tomatoes. Hold on. Okay, guys. What I did was take out the pancetta nice and crispy and put it off to the side over here. That's in a bowl. I added some fresh olive oil into the pan, chopped up three cloves of garlic, and now I sauteed the garlic lightly and then added that whole can of pomodorini. And they come like little cherry tomatoes. And what I do is I pop them like that to get the sauce more loose. Okay, and that's brewing away. And over here, we're boiling, getting ready for the pasta. I'm going to put the fusilli in. And I'll take you back in the final. I'm going to add the Parmesan and spinach at the end. Okay, I'm back for the finale here of this throw together pasta for lunch. Vinny's helping me. He decided to let me have my hands free. Okay, the pasta just about ready. We're going to first add in, let's put back the prosciutto. It's all crispy. Let's put that back in. That's very salty, so I don't think you need any extra with this. Put the prosciutto in. Now let's add some of that spinach. Baby spinach. Okay. It's organic. It's all cleaned and washed. Okay. Add some of that, not the whole box. And now I'm going to put in the pasta. It'll finish if it needs to. In the pan. Now, for all ingredients added, this should turn out to be a delicious pasta. But, like I said, it's on a whim. I didn't write anything down. I don't know if this is a good combo. I just had that prosciutto that I had to use because. I didn't want it sitting and wasting. Keep a parmesan close by. Let's toss this around a bit. Get all that incorporated. Mm. It smells good. Spinach is wilting. That's a good thing. Now I have to add some parmesan. Let's do that. Let's add some of the sliced parmesan. And then I have some more to finish. Now, if you think it's not wet enough or juicy enough, you can add some pasta water now, and that would help. I'm just going to add more Parmesan that I grade for me. This is a good consistency. I'm sorry for the scraping. It's these utensils in my pan. I'm not a big wooden spoon girl. Okay, so now let's get some of my extra... Pecorino Romano. Pecorino. Oh, I need my... Here it is. I like a lot. I used that other one. I'm trying to see how it tastes. I bought it yesterday at Aldi's. This kind of Parmesan. This is sliced. I see it used in a lot of recipes. I don't, I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm going to give it a shot. This is my favorite. The Locatelli Pecorino Romano. I grew up with this cheese. This is the one I know. So we add more to the plate. Off. 
one more pause. Ooh, a plate. Get a plate. Vincenzo. Okay. Fusilli with prosciutto, spinach, and pecorino romano. Let's get a little bit more cheese on that. And now yeah, we're ready to eat. Oh, God, this is so good. And there you have it. My throw together lunch pasta. Fusilli with prosciutto and spinach. Loving it. Ciao. This is so good. Vinny's, I tasted it. Vinny's going to give his opinion. My throw together pasta. Good, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, love it.